history. He oversees all enterprise search at Google. Ladies Everything. and gentlemen, Let's Cyrus Mystery from Google. Yeah. mystery. I told him, Cyrus, it's time to get serious. <laughs> okay? Market America and Google. Amazing. Amazing. This, I thought Google knows how to have fun. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Do we... <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> so, I'm assuming you guys, you guys have heard of Google? Yeah. <laughs> do, I, do any of you use Google out there? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So, <laughs> this is amazing. As you've heard, we are unbelievably excited. This is a huge, huge opportunity for us. It's going to be even bigger for you guys. We're very, very excited. Um, and as you saw, Robert Ivanikov um, is kind of the brainchild behind the whole operation. He put this together. so. Um, let's give him a big round of applause, Robert. An unbelievable job, unbelievable job. So what I'm here to tell you about really briefly in just three or four minutes, I'm going to try to tell you about what does this mean for you? What exactly are, is Google doing? You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great brand, but how is it really going to help you and what exactly is it all about? So, you know, a lot of you may not know, you see a lot of Google stuff out there in Gmail and Google Docs and Spreadsheet, all the stuff we're doing. Our mission is quite simply, to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. It's a pretty big mission. We think we're doing a pretty good job so far. Um, like video, books, news, documents, you know, you name it, we're trying to index it. Sorry, I, I should turn around and wave it off. I forget, there's a whole crowd behind me, I keep forgetting. Um, and what we found in doing this is search is really, really becoming the starting point of the world's information. How many people um, have searched for something like weather San Francisco or weather in you know, LA? I'm from California, of course, the California in the house. Um, um, you know, weather San Francisco will give you 28 million documents. I'm pretty sure no one here cares that there's 28 million documents on weather San Francisco. We're pretty sure you want the weather. Let's show you the weather, right? How many people have tried, you know, type in GE or GOOG or YHOO? You've tried, you know, what do you see? A ticker symbol, right? You meet, you know, what about typing in, did you know you can do this? You can type in a tracking number, a UPS number, a FedEx number, and you just, you actually just see where your package is, you know? Um, type in a movie and a zip code, and what do you get? So what, what are we getting at here? We're say, you type in an address and you'll get the map. Type in, you know, if, we, if you don't even tell us, if you just give us some broad concept, like I'm looking for the Grateful Dead, we'd say, well, there's, in this case, 28,600,000 documents. But you know what? Let's summarize. Let's bring more information right to the top. This is truly the next generation of search, right? Really trying to understand exactly what they want to bring you to the top. Google is pioneering. You will never see this on any other website. These are truly, truly remarkable things. This is one of the reasons why people love Google and one of the reasons I personally use it for, you know, almost everything. Um, so search is great. People are using it like crazy, yet you go to most websites. It's an actual screenshot of AT&T. I hope no one here is from AT&T. <laughs> um, yet uh, we use this as the example of what not to do. 20 different ways to navigate their website, right? So very nice, you know, all nice and organized. But, you know, guess what, what's missing? Right? I'm looking for information. You know, where's the, where's, the, where's, the, where's the dial tone to the Internet, right, or the command line? They don't have that search bar. And so... 
What does that mean? What does it mean if you don't have really good search? When people come to your portal and they come and they're, you know, they're all excited to find stuff and find the right products, and what happens if you don't have it? This is some interesting stats, and Mark went over some really, really interesting ones. You know, when navigation fails, which is pretty often, 50% of users will turn to search. That's a huge number of people turning to search. You need to have really good search. Um, in a study of 2,000 shoppers, 71% used keyword searches to find products. This is what's happening. This is what's happening on your own. You can think of it as your storefront, right? This is what's happening. People are coming in. Imagine they're coming into your store and they're blindfolded, right? And you know, you're walking in and all of a sudden you end up in the lingerie department. You're picking, you don't know what's going on, right? You're not even getting the right stuff. You need to give them you know, the exact laser focus, get the right stuff.